Hello, so we'll see how this works. Um, I'm here in my office and uh, as you know on March 20th we're not going to um, have class because I'll be off with the seniors at uh, in Minneapolis uh, or St. Paul. So um, what I'd like to do is just go through with you some of the items that we would go through if we were meeting for class and this won't last very long so uh, just maybe 10 minutes I think so um, first of all uh, no class uh, 1 o'clock you will have the extra point uh, opportunity it's due at 1 o'clock so if you want to do that, get that in. There's some really nice and funny questions, so take a look at them and try to get something from them. And uh, then your assignment uh, I put on the uh, website already. I think you'll like that too. Uh, since you're just getting back from vacation, uh, it's not going to be due the uh, usual date, which would be March 20th, but a couple days later. So try to get that in. I'll see how uh, you guys did with that, and um, depending upon how you did with it, uh, we'll make some adjustments and uh, tailor your next assignment, which will be due, gosh, just like five days later. Uh, so things are starting to ramp up a little bit here as you get back from vacation, uh, unfortunately. Um, uh, for you, anyway. Uh, other things is um, the, the the assignment uh, that's on your website for, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, multivariate analysis uh, section. And multivariate analysis is just really another way of dealing with um, multiple variables at one time. Um, the only way we can do uh, we can deal with multiple variables uh, with what we've learned so far is by doing what we call multiple univariate uh, statistical tests and that has its problems uh, but really there's nothing cleaner than a nice simple multi uni, uni or one univariate analysis test and um, if you look at the website uh, we have something on the um, uh, the uh, the Higgs uh, Basson particle it talks about the simplicity as being uh, a sign of that which is true, um, and if something becomes too complex, uh, you make too many um, assumptions, uh, then. Uh, Scientists and probably theologians too begin to doubt the the veracity of of, of a theory or or whatever. So um, we're not really necessarily getting better by going from univariate analysis, which again are things like you know simple ANOVA, t test, chi square, those kinds of things, to going to multivariate analysis. Um, in fact. Uh, we may be busting things down, getting so complex that we move to a point where people might question whether the result is of, of any veracity uh, whatsoever. So um, when we talk about multivariate analysis, a lot of times we talk about survival curves. Uh, I've left some things on your website for survival curves. Take a look at them. Basically, survival curves are a way of predicting, not necessarily when individuals will, survi will survive, because, I mean, that is kind of a nominal variable, right? Dead or alive. So you die when you die, and uh, you're either you're dead or you're alive. But a survival curve is something where you have a certain population of people um, of uh, certain characteristics, and you try to pr predict how many will be survive, will be alive in five or ten years, or or whatever. And that's of some of some value to uh, clinicians, and probably to you uh, later on um, in your career. Um, 
and the survival curve becomes smoother and smoother as you get more and more patients on your survival curve analysis. Up to that point, it gets kind of bumpy. It's kind of bumpy because individual people die. Uh, at, you know, they die or they live. Yes, yes or no. So you can see a little bump there when individuals die if you don't have that many people uh, on your survival curve. Um, and again, look at your website. I have some pictures of survive, some survival curves there for you, different diseases, uh, different sizes of populations, that kind of thing. So you take a peek at that. Uh, the other thing um, is the um, uh, multiple regression analysis. Again, uh, look at your website. Uh, this has to do with uh, analyses of multiple variables that are um, uh, continuous, uh, both your uh, dependent and independent variables uh, are continuous type variables, and then you can use uh, multiple regression analysis. Multivariate analysis, uh, uh, you can use uh, uh, variables that are not necessarily continuous, but can also be nominal or ordinal in nature, and um, uh, put that into a, a, an equation. Uh, multivariate analysis equation. The reason to use multivariate analysis is so that you can uh, have multiple uh, independent uh, variables at the same time. Many, many, many. Multiple, multiple, multiple. And the more you get, uh, probably the more complicated the equation becomes and probably the less uh, mm, refined, maybe. Uh, certainly the less simple, uh, less uh, um, inherently uh, wonderful, beautiful, um, and, and the more complex you get. And people are going to probably question a uh, 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 multivariate uh, equation that has you know several independent variables. So you want to see how all these independent variables uh, react together at the same time in influencing the result of the a dependent variable. So look uh, look that over. Uh, you might have some questions that we can talk about um, on March 27th, or if you have questions before that, uh, send me an email. We can get together uh, and uh, and discuss that. Uh, I've got some kind of fun things uh, for you to look at uh, in regards to multivariate analysis. Uh, got a nice musical. Um, uh, that some really nerdy, uh, dorky kind of people put together. You know, uh, back when I was in high school, these people just, uh, you know, we were ashamed of them, you know, we were ashamed. Uh, but now they're ruling the world, you know. Um, so I guess we got to start listening to them. And so they made this crazy musical, so I put it on your site website. You'll be able to tell what to click on because it's there's a real dorky guy who's... Uh, whose picture is there. Uh, let's see, another dorky guy, of course, is Einstein. He's there. Uh, if you click on his picture, you'll see the results of the things that we ended up talking about uh, last week, which was, uh, let's see, today's the 14th, so it would have been uh, March 7th. Um, and um, uh, there's also a picture on your website of a... Um, turtle, snapping turtle, and um, click on that and uh, there is a power analysis um, device that you can play with. It comes from the University of Iowa. It's pretty good. I've used it a lot uh, over the years. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to get to. you got to click on the site and then you have to uh, click on something called pieface.jar, which is on the website. You'll be able to find it. Uh, and I have some instructions again on the website for you to locate that. You can kind of play with uh, the uh, power calculator and it's fun to play with uh, and uh, uh, you can figure out uh, your power uh, number of uh, variables you need for a powerful study for uh, um, studies that deal with um, uh, continuous and uh, um, nominal uh, variables. Uh, let's see, I think that's pretty much it, and it's right around 10 minutes for this video. So, again, if you have any questions, uh, send me an email, uh, give me a buzz, and we can 
uh, talk about it. Okay, take care. Hope you had a good vacation. Bye.